Senator from Pennsylvania. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I would ask uh, to speak as if in morning business, ask you unanimous consent for that. Without objection. And Mr. President, uh, I would ask also that the, uh, uh, the two documents I have in front of me, one of which is a, a description of uh, one of our, the, the life of one of our fallen soldiers, as well as a news article um, from the Citizen's Voice newspaper dated December 23rd, 2005, being made part of the record. Without objection. Mr. President, I rise this morning to, to speak about uh, a young man from my home region of northeastern Pennsylvania who lost his life uh, in the war in Iraq. First Lieutenant Michael J. Cleary of Dallas, Pennsylvania. He was born April the 4th, 1981, and we're thinking of him today for so many reasons, uh, not the least of which is uh, a birthday tomorrow. I wanted to provide a uh, somewhat of a biographical sketch and then, and then talk uh, a little bit about his, about his life. Michael Cleary was, uh, was a graduate of uh, Dallas High School in Luzerne County, Pennsylvania in June of 1999. He was uh, captain of two teams there, both soccer and tennis. He was a, a member and an active member of so many organizations, including a proud member of the National Honor Society. He had uh, opportunities at, at several colleges, but he chose Hamilton College uh, in the state of New York. And while at Hamilton, he participated in uh, varsity soccer and lettered, uh, got letters in varsity tennis. He was the chapter president of Sigma Phi fraternity. And despite all of this uh, uh, college uh, uh, and academic interest, he also had a, a feeling in his heart for his country and he wanted to serve. He wanted to enlist in special forces uh, immediately, immediately after the attacks of September 11th, but chose to follow the advice of his mother, which is for, for all of us the right thing to do. Uh, and she urged him to stay in school to complete his studies. He did that. He graduated in May of 2003 with honors uh, from the economics program. And ultimately, uh, his dream was fulfilled when he joined, uh, when he joined the military. He lost his life in December uh, of 2005. And after that, his military decorations include the following. Uh, the Combat Action Badge, the Bronze Star, Purple Heart, Army Commendation Medal, Air Force Commendation Medal, Army Achievement Medal, Good Conduct Medal, and three campaign medals. And it's hard to describe uh, in a short amount of time, even in a in a, a write-up in the newspaper, as, as uh, local papers did at that time. But probably the best way to, uh, to encapsulate uh, what Michael Cleary's life has meant to this country is to remember the words of Abraham Lincoln when he talked about the sacrifice of our, uh, of our soldiers, when he talked about those who gave, at, after, the, after the Battle of Gettysburg, those who gave the last full measure of devotion to their country. And we now uh, can say that about so many of our young men and women who fought in Iraq. And one of them was Michael Cleary. He indeed gave the last full measure of devotion to the country he loved. He didn't have to do it. He had a great career ahead of him because of his academic, uh, his academic achievements and because of his uh, leadership qualities. He could have pursued another path. But he chose uh, to give back he chose to sacrifice for his country, knowing uh, full well that he could be asked uh, by God to give the last full measure of devotion, and he did. And we're thinking of his family today for so many reasons, not the least of which that uh, First Lieutenant Cleary was the fourth generation of that family uh, to, serve their, to serve his country. His father, Jack Cleary, was a decorated army veteran of the Vietnam War, and then two generations before that. So this is a family that is sacrificed in generation after generation. And we're thinking of them today. They should tomorrow be able to, uh, should have been able to celebrate 
uh, Michael's birthday, which would be his 27th birthday. But they cannot. Uh, but they're strong people. They understand the sacrifice that he made. But we're, and we're thinking about them this morning and tomorrow and on so many other days. I think that sometimes it's very difficult uh, for us to fully comprehend those of us who have not had a close family member lost in combat. It's very difficult for us to fully comprehend what this means uh, to that family, what it means to uh, the community in, in northeastern Pennsylvania and Luzerne County, uh, even years later now. But it's difficult because in so many parts of our state, as is true of the whole country, when, when we lose one soldier, especially in a small town, in a smaller community, the impact is devastating. Uh, the, initial, the initial impact of that, but months and years later. And I think it's important that we don't just look back and, and uh, remember and pay tribute uh, to the day they died and to the sacrifice that they made, as important as that is. We should be remembering as well their life, their, their life of, of achievement and, uh, and triumph and their life of service. Uh, because when these families look back on these young people, they're not just going to remember their service in the military because family members know that our fighting men and women weren't born into divisions and platoons. They weren't born with a uniform on. They were born into families, families of mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles and cousins and friends and so many others that we know are part of our, our, all of our families. So I think it's important that we remember these young men and women uh, to the extent that we can uh, on their birthday or some other significant moment in their life. And finally, let me just say this. The news article that I cited uh, from December of 2005 talked about uh, the plans that Michael Cleary had uh, to be married uh, to Aaron Kavanaugh. And I won't review the whole article, but suffice it to say that um, it's a powerful story of what, uh, what one soldier's hopes and dreams were to serve his country, but to come home and then start a new life uh, and to, to be married. So we're remembering her as well today and remembering that they graduated together from Dallas High School in that year of 1999. We're grateful this day uh, in so many ways, but it's difficult to, to uh, fully explain how grateful we, we are for his life of service and sacrifice, his life of courage uh, and commitment, um, and his life which was focused on the future, his own future, uh, but also the future of our country. So tomorrow, as his family celebrates uh, his birthday, we're remembering uh, Michael J. Cleary at this time, and we, we wish for him and for his family all of God's blessings. Thank you, Mr. President, I yield the floor.